Hi everyone, I am Katie the Crafty Blog Stalker, and in today's episode, I am going to show you how to make this paper rosette using a scoring board. So let's get started. Here I have got my double-sided piece of paper, stripes on one side, and polka dots on the other. And I'm gonna bring in my paper cutter. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut this sheet into three strips. So each, uh, each strip is gonna be four inches wide. So my finished uh, rosette is gonna be six inches wide. So if you are making a rosette that is larger than that, then you may need more than three strips. Depending on the size that you're going, you may need four to even six strips if you want to make like a 24 inch rosette um, using a 12 inch piece of paper, then you would need um, six, six sheets to make that. Now I'm gonna bring in my scoring board and my little stylus is up here. Now the first thing we're going to do, I am using double-sided paper on purpose because we are going to fold a little section over so we can see the back side. So that is the first piece that I am going to score. And I'm gonna score it one inch. Actually, let's do three quarters of an inch. That'll make my rosette a little bit longer. It'll make it about six and a half inches, but that's okay. So we're gonna go three quarters of an inch and we're gonna score that all the way down. So I'm gonna do that on all of the pieces. And then we are just gonna fold that over and we can even give it a hard fold, pushing down with the bone folder. Okay, now we're gonna bring these, or the, um, the scoring board back in, and we're gonna turn the piece of paper, and this time we are going to score every half of an inch. And we're just going to bring that score all the way down. And we're gonna do this to all three of the strips. Okay, now we're done with our scoring board so we can put it away. Now we are going to take our scored sheets and we are just going to fold them. So I like to start at the top and then accordion fold, which actually makes it then at the bottom. But then we just flip it back and forth as we fold along those score lines. And again, we're gonna do this to all three strips. So I've got all of my pieces accordion folded. I'm going to bring in my glue gun and this is where I'm gonna start attaching the pieces. Now what I'm going to be doing is just layering those uh, two folds together. So I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom one, a line of glue along each side of that fold. And then I'm gonna push those together. And that is what makes it one strip. Now if you'd like, right here you can see this little fold over piece comes up a little bit. I can just put a little dot of glue under there to help hold it down. And that just helps hide the seam a little bit more. So now I'm gonna do the same attaching this piece. Some glue along each side of that fold. Press them together. And again, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue underneath that fold. Now, of course, if you didn't want to have the fold over, you can totally do that. Um, it's the same assembly instructions. It would just make the, um, the rosette a little bit larger. And now we're gonna attach the ends together. And this is probably the trickiest one. But we do 
do it the same way. I'm gonna grab our glue gun, put a line of glue on each side of that fold, and then bring those ends together like that. All right, and there is what our rosette is going to look like once we glue it all together. Now I have already pre-cut some circles here um, and you can do this with a paper punch, you can do it freehand, however you want. And these are going to be the front and back to our rosette. It's, these are gonna be what hold it all together basically. So what we do is we take this one We'll take one of the glue or one of the circles, and my circles are an inch and a half for the top and base, and then this is just an accent piece. So an inch and a half, and we are just going to pile on the glue. Just put a big old dab of it on there. We're gonna put that in the center of our paper circle here, and we're gonna bring it together and we're gonna flatten it right over that circle and then squish it together. Now we will need to hold this for a minute while it dries a little. And then once it starts to hold, you can tell because you can pull a hand away. It's not completely set, so I don't wanna let go completely. But now what we're gonna do is take our glue gun again. We're gonna add a little bit more glue there to the top. And then we're gonna take our other circle and put that on the top and push that into place. And now while this is all setting, if you've got one side that has more, um, more, more folds than the other, you can kind of fan them out a little bit to get the look that you're wanting. And still just hold that for another minute so it sets completely. All right, it feels pretty sturdy. So there's the front of our rosette. There's the back. That circle isn't perfectly centered, but that's okay, because it's the back. And then if you want to, you can embellish the front of it. You can put cute little buttons. You can add um, tags or shapes or, or whatever to really make the rosette pop. I've just got another circle that I am going to uh, put a foam dot behind. Peel off that backing just to give it a little bit more dimension and center that second dot in the first. And there is my rosette. Now you can use these on uh, packages, they can be bows. You can hang them on the wall for party decorations or room decorations. There really are so many fun possibilities with these paper rosettes. So tell me, let me know what you are going to use your paper rosettes for. And while you're here, I would love for you to follow me so you don't miss out on any of my Crafty Vlog Stalker videos. And of course, you can always find me at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everybody. Bye and happy crafting.